You're watching NBC5 News at 6. There's growing concern tonight as we wait to learn if the coronavirus is here in Texas. Test results for three Texans are expected back any time now. That includes two college students, one from Baylor and one from Texas A&M, who may have the virus. But the scare isn't putting a damper on Lunar New Year celebrations here in North Texas. And MedStar officials say they are prepared if the virus spreads locally. Now, NBC5's Lili Zhang is in studio with more on this health alert. And Lili, MedStar says it's working with other health authorities on this daily. Vince, that's right. And the collaboration includes hospital partners, plus the CDC and National Institutes of Health. There are daily conference calls giving recommendations to hospitals, doctors, and EMS providers. That actually has some biohazard. A protective kit. There's gowns and a surgical mask that they can wear that has a splatter shield. For field crews on every call, this is one of the proactive approaches to the coronavirus taken by MedStar. If a patient has a respiratory condition, they're coughing, they're sneezing, they may have that type of virus, we're putting a surgical mask on the patient in addition to perhaps on the uh, responding crew. Matt Zavatsky with MedStar says they're also screening patients based on travel history if they have respiratory illnesses. <laughs> News of the deadly virus has hit home for some North Texans with friends and family in or near Wuhan, China, where it originated. We're always worried and, you know, uh, but... And, you know, it's something that you don't, you don't have a control over and you just have to pray. My grandpa's 85, so I tried to tell him not to go out and just stay, stay home. Some celebrating the Lunar New Year in Richardson Saturday came prepared. As long as you keep uh, good hygiene, you know, keep on washing your hands and uh, make sure don't go into the crowd that you know that people are coughing and sneezing, I think we should be okay. MedStar officials say it's a time to be diligent about prevention and monitoring, but... We don't need to panic. We've gone through the training, we've gone through the orientation. We're getting continual updates from the CDC and from the public health officials, so we are prepared. And MedStar says that if they do treat a patient who has a high index of suspicion, again, based on travel history and symptoms, the ambulance carrying him or her would be taken out of service and then decontaminated. All right, well, that's good to hear that they're staying on top of it like that. Do we know anything about, are they seeing more calls or cases of people thinking they have some symptoms like this? Yeah, so we talked to MedStar about that today, and MedStar says currently they respond to about 11 calls a day to patients that have symptoms that could possibly mimic the virus. But here's something to keep in mind, it's very important. This time of year, their call volume is already high for respiratory symptoms and ailments and flu-like symptoms. So, again, that's a very important reason why, as far as why they're asking about travel. All right, Lily, thank you very much. Appreciate that.